Good afternoon, Brockton residents. This is Mayor Sullivan, and uh, it's really my honor and privilege to come before you again. This is the 12th episode of Our Brockton, and the title of the show is exactly what it's about. It's Our Brockton. It's our community. It's our home. And I'm really, really um, privileged to have two wonderful public servants joining me today. Uh, they're not just friends, uh, but they have done yeoman's work uh, to protect and serve the city of Brockton during COVID-19. We have Plymouth County Treasurer Thomas O'Brien and Dan Pallotta, who is a Plymouth County Commissioner. He chairs the, the commission. I want to thank you both for uh, really what, what you've done in and out every day, um, and especially with COVID. And for those watching the show, I just want to let you know that um, the Plymouth County was the recipient of, of a substantial amount of money under the CARES Act, which is federal money. And as a result of uh, the efforts of these two gentlemen and Greg Hanley and Sandy Wright, who are the other two members of the Plymouth County Commission, um, the city of Brockton is going to benefit up to $18 million. And again, I want to applaud both of you because it wouldn't have happened without your efforts and um, your dedication to the county and to the Commonwealth, but from my perspective, to the city of champions, the city of Brockton. So we're going to talk about, the, the, it's a free flow conversation, but again, I want to, uh, first of all, let um, the county treasurer, Mr. O'Brien, um, I'm going to throw it to him first. And then, uh, actually, no, I'm going to go to Mr. Chairman first. I'm going to go to Mr. <laughs> Chairman, Dan Pallotta, who is uh, from the county commissioner and chair. Chairman, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much. Uh, you're selling yourself short, Mayor. It's eighteen million eight thousand one hundred seventy-one dollars and ninety-two cents, and I expect that you'll spend every penny of it, as you should, uh, protecting your residents. And uh, the the commissioners are happy to help out as any way we can. Um, I, I, this is my probably one of my last times uh, with you uh, on Zoom. I'm guessing my my term ends on January sixth, when Jared Valenzuela of Rockland gets sworn in. So. Uh, he's as dedicated as uh, the other two commissioners, and I, I, I expect that synergy to continue forward uh, in helping the city of champions. Um, we're, we're excited to be here. We're excited to help with the federal grants. This is not the only grant that we administer. We actually administer the JAG grant, uh, which uh, Brockton benefits from too, which is a justice administration grant. Uh, uh, the, the burn grant uh, that helps your police department. So there are other things we do uh, to help out. We're excited to do it. It's, it's what our job is. It's what you, we, you elected us for. We shouldn't get thanked for doing our job. Um, this is what we're supposed to do. And this is when, when uh, we work cross aisles, uh, Plymouth County uh, is, is a bipartisan board uh, that doesn't act like, a, like Republicans and Democrats. Uh, Republicans have had control uh, for, for all, all my whole my whole eight years, and you would never know it. Uh, you know, we treat everybody the same as it should be, uh, as you do too. And uh, we're excited about this. So we're excited about CARES, and we're ha we're happy to help uh, the city of Champions with their COVID related expenditures. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Treasurer. Mr. Mayor, it's great to see you, and thank you for having us both on and for the, for the kind words at the beginning, uh, but we would be remiss if we didn't let the great city know what a champion you are uh, on behalf of the city. Uh, you call us almost every day. Uh, I, I've really asked you to start calling me after 7 a.m. Uh, that's been my only request, and you've been good to do that. Uh, you can call Chairman Pallotta before 7 a.m., but I'm really a more 7 a.m. To, to midnight time, uh, but you and your entire team deserve a Mr. Chairman, this is my turn to talk, please. Uh, so uh, really you and your team have done yeoman's work. First, understanding what is not always an easy process to get money back to the city uh, of Brockton, but advocating for them every step of the way and, and letting us in the county know the challenges that you face. Uh, you're there on the front lines day in and day out. You're seeing what's happening. You're relaying that information to us. And that makes us better. That makes us more responsive. And I know the chairman and I really wanted to commend you for a job well done throughout this process. I, I really also have to thank the county commissioners because you talk about this being federal money, uh, but I don't think people realize that here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, there are only two governmental entities that secured these funds. One was the city of Boston and the other was Plymouth County. So while others had an opportunity to secure these funds, it was our county commissioners with my help and assistance that stepped up to the plate and said, yes, we're going to secure these funds because we know we want to bring them back to our communities. We know our towns and the great city of Brockton need our help, need these resources. And so they went 
a step above, if you would, to reach out and to, to get these resources, and, and they should be commended uh, for that. And I know the chairman and I like to tease back and forth, and you may see some of that uh, on this, but um, you know, he talks about the nonpartisan nature of our work, and he's absolutely correct. Uh, we really rise above that to get done what we need to get done for our communities. And it has been a pleasure to work with the chairman. He and I don't always agree, uh, but that's okay. Uh, it, it's okay that we don't always agree because we understand we're both advocating uh, for our communities. We can, and what I really appreciate about Chairman Pallotta is that we can have our disagreements, but not be disagreeable. We can have our disagreements, but still the next day, we're talking about what we need to get done. Uh, and uh, I really want those folks that are, are watching to understand how hard a job this has been and what a pleasure it has been to work with uh, the two of you. I, just briefly, I, I did also want to add that Brockton uh, is fortunate insofar as we're here local. And so that makes us a little bit more responsive to your concerns. So when you know that you need a testing site, you or members of your team can reach out to us and say, hey, how do we make this happen? What do we need to do? What's the process? And we can respond. And I do hope you feel on behalf of Brockton that whenever you pick up the phone, you know you've got friends and partners and allies on the other side here in Plymouth County, uh, because we recognize Brockton is the only city in Plymouth County, and that makes you unique. That makes you, the city, special and a primary focus for us. I know the chairman and I talk <laughs> probably more regularly yeah. than, than either here I would want, but we're always putting Brockton at the forefront of these issues because we know you have challenges that don't, just don't exist in some of our other communities. So uh, we're just thrilled to be here and to talk about this program, uh, to talk about the great things that are happening uh, in Brockton and then how we're really dealing with this pandemic. Yeah, and again, I, for those that, that aren't familiar with county government, um, I'm proud to say for 14 years as a counselor at large, I was the Brockton representative to the Plymouth County Advisory Board, and that's where I met the chairman and and the treasurer and I have known each other um, for his days when he was a state rep, a good, a really great state rep. So um, the sadness of this job right now for uh, the city of Brockton, as I talk to both the treasurer and the chairman, is that we've lost 334 residents to COVID-19, 334. We're almost at 8,000 total cases. We're at 7,921 cases as of today. And currently 1,681 Brockton residents have positive COVID-19. So emotionally, physically, financially, mentally, um, the city's been damaged, the county's been damaged, the Commonwealth and the nation as a whole. So again, I just want to thank both of you because financially, um, Brockton not being a wealthy community, we're, we're a great community and I love it and I'm biased because I was born and raised here, but we're the city of champions because our people are champions. But we have such a beautiful, diverse segment of the city of Brockton, right? And it's just a different wave of, of new immigrants that come here. Back in the day, of course, my grandparents from Ireland to work in the shoe factories. Now it's Haiti and Angola and Nigeria and Latin communities and Cape Verde. Um, but one thing that we never expected is to be a one-to-one -one school district, meaning that every boy and girl in the city of Brockton, Brockton Public Schools, would have their own laptop. And thanks to, again, both of you and your partners in the county, we are now a one-to-one. -one. Seven million dollar acquisition so that every boy and girl has a laptop. And that's a game changer for us. It really is. So, again, we can talk about the different things that Brockton has benefited from because of the CARES Act. But again, without the leadership, the partnership and and the treasurer was, was, was joking somewhat. I don't call that early. But when we call, first of all, it's, it, it goes back way, both ways. Right. If, if I get a call from both of you, we answer it and vice versa. And I want to take a moment to congratulate Tom O'Brien, who was just reelected. So congratulations, Mr. Treasurer. And thank you. Thank you. Dan Pilat is the smartest of the bunch because he opted not to seek re-election and he's going, right. to, uh, he's going to enjoy uh, post-public service time. But Dan, honestly, I just want to thank you for everything you've done. Um, but let's talk about the county because, again, a lot of people don't know exactly what does the county treasurer do or what does the county commissioners do? And, and then we can circle back and, and kind of touch up again on CARES Act. But um, Treasurer, could you just explain what, what does Plymouth County uh, and the Office of the Treasurer do? You know, I'm glad you asked that question because sometimes we forget that people don't realize our roles and our functions. Uh, the county treasurer by statute essentially serves as the chief financial officer of the county, a separately elected branch, if you will, uh, working closely with the executive branch, which is the commissioners, the three commissioners. And I know the commissioner chair will talk about that, uh, but largely responsible for the finances of the county. Uh, and I can tell you 
and I'd love to talk about this more maybe at another show, uh, but these commissioners over the last eight years have worked really hard, Mr. Mayor, to bring the county uh, forward into this century, but also to get our finances in order. They tasked me with presenting some very challenging scenarios to them, and they've really uh, made some significant progress in, in getting our financial house, not only in order, but really a, a benchmark for other levels of government to follow. And thank you for serving on the advisory board because that wouldn't have happened without the advisory board sure. supporting the commissioners. Uh, so we really uh, appreciate that and we're proud of that. And I'll let the chairman elaborate in a bit. Uh, secondly, I uh, also serve as the chairman and treasurer for the Plymouth County Retirement Association. Now, people may not know, and, and in Brockton, you guys have your own retirement association, but for those of you who are outside of Brockton, uh, we cover 11,000 members, uh, includes actives and retirees, uh, in the Plymouth County area. We have 52 member units, uh, and we're responsible for the retirements uh, of all of those folks. I'm pleased to report that during my tenure, uh, the value of that association when I started in uh, 2006 was a little over 500 million. And just the other day we had a meeting and we crossed $1.2 billion uh, in assets. And we are the fifth largest retirement association or system in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So a significant accomplishment and a significant responsibility. Then with the commissioner's uh, direction, if you will, and, and really uh, request, uh, we created something called the Plymouth County OPEB Trust, uh, which provides uh, retirement, provides rather OPEB benefits, other post-employment benefits for municipal employees. Uh, the city of Brockton has joined uh, PCOT, which we appreciate and are, are grateful for your uh, faith in us to manage those resources. Uh, we expected that that would maybe have seven or eight members by now. It's only uh, a little over five years old and we might have 10 or $15 million in assets under management, but we have 28 members and we're managing more than $28 million uh, and in fact, I have a report for the commissioners tonight where our annualized uh, return is over 10%. Uh, one of the best in New England, yes, yes. Uh, and then lastly, I also serve as the treasurer for uh, the Mayflower Municipal Health Group. Uh, that is a joint purchase group that serves uh, 34 governmental entities. We provide high quality, uh, affordable health insurance for our governmental entities. And that annualized uh, is $100 million uh, on an annual basis. So providing a lot of health insurance. There's a lot more we could talk about, but that's just in a nutshell, the four uh, major responsibilities that I have as treasurer. Thank you, Mr. Treasurer. Mr. Chairman. He didn't leave me with anything. <laughs> uh, the, that's because the treasurer does all the hard work. <laughs> the commissioners, the commissioners, uh, the county really should do more. Um, and what we have done in the past eight years is pretty much clean up a, a, a legacy mess, as you, you were part of, uh, helping us do that. Uh, and now the county's on a real solid foundation. I expect that you'll see more federal participation with the county going forward uh, now that we've demonstrated and we have the support of the 27 communities. Something that was a little sketchy when we took the money. I mean, uh, it, it, we, all of a sudden, everyone's like, hey, yeah, the county. Um, but we've proven that uh, our system works. It works well. And because you can pick up the phone and call us. Um, I, I, I can't get through anybody at the state. And, uh, you know, we're, we're lucky. The other 323 towns aren't so lucky. Um, we, we, are, we administer three courthouses, including Brockton Superior Courthouse. Uh, that's a county-owned asset, as well as the Registry of Deed on Belmont Street, which is also an asset of the county. Uh, both of those uh, have, uh, we're constantly working on. We just redid the Registry of Deeds a couple of years ago uh, to make it a first-class Registry of Deeds for the City of Champions. Um, we have uh, a registry deeds in Plymouth and in, Ro and in Rockland and uh, a courthouse in Wareham and in Hingham. We also do joint purchasing. Um, most vehicles in Massachusetts are bought through Plymouth County. Uh, we have 300 uh, municipalities that are members of the Plymouth County vehicle bid, uh, and they buy their vehicles through us. So uh, we do a lot of things like that that aren't sexy uh, that, you know, you're not going to read about in the paper, uh, but are necessary for a government to function. Uh, nobody who comes to the county comes to the county to, 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 to get a pat on the back. They come to the county to serve. And the three commissioners you have right now serve. And uh, the new commissioner coming in will serve also. Um, we also we also administer the cooperative uh, extension, uh, one of only uh, three cooperative extensions left in the state, uh, which is primarily administering a 4-H program. Uh, Plymouth County's uh, program is second to none. 
uh, with the county farm and our new uh, greenhouse that's just been completed, as well as uh, our new riding ring that we're planning right now, uh, the, the county uh, program for the children. And these are children that aren't necessarily in sports or aren't necessarily excelling in school, but they're into agriculture and animals. And, and there's a whole bunch of them. We have thousands of kids in that program uh, from Brockton to Hull to Mattapoisett uh, to Plymouth. And uh, we're really proud of that program too. So there's a lot of little oddball, odd, oddball things that we do, uh, but regionalization is why we're here. And that is something that we, that the next group of commissioners is gonna focus on, I think, trying to get the communities to couple up together in reg regional assistance uh, because each community can't survive on its own. Nor can the city of Brockton, you can't. Uh, you're gonna have to start sharing services, fire trucks and, and police services and, and veteran services and, and dog licensing, all that stuff eventually will be shared by communities and the county will be the vehicle to do it. Yeah, and you know, I'll tell you, we, we would not be reaping $18 million if it wasn't um, the county uh, under the care and custody of that money. Uh, that's just, that's clear and that's a reality. And of course, the Brockton Connection, Brockton is, as you said, Mr. Treasury, the only city in the county, but the Brockton Connections, the Assistant Treasurer, Jeff Welch, is from Brockton. Yeah. John Buckley, uh, Registered Deeds, from Brockton, lives in oh, Brockton. He reminds but, us every minute. Yeah, oh He's yeah, yeah. Bob Creedon, <laughs> you know, the clerks, registered clerks here, uh, here in Brockton. So, um, you know, it's, 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 it's what I say uh, as mayor of Brockton, it's a title, but as a Brocktonian and once a Brocktonian, always a Brocktonian, but it's far reaching. You know, what's good for Halifax and Plimpton may be good for Brockton and vice versa. But the relationship building is, in essence, how you succeed. And uh, to be a good leader, you have to be a good listener. And you guys are definitely great listeners. And um, just to do a quick rundown, the 18 million. So we submitted one million. We got a check for a million dollars. Great ceremony. Uh, Congressman Lynch was there, and the state delegation at Neighborhood Health Center. And then, as I said, the seven million dollars for every computer laptop submitted. We've received eight million from the county. Thanks to that, we've already submitted another two point four on the on the city side, another three point six on the school side. That's another six million in the queue to be paid back to Brockton under the CARES Act. That leaves us plus four million, which I promise you, and the CFO, Mr. Clarkson, knows this that we're spending every penny to get reimbursed. So um, again, we're kind of getting to the end of this, believe it or not. And I, I just wanted to, first of all, thank you again for agreeing to come on. Um, it's an informational, uh, sharing information to the public is wonderful. Uh, community access is, is far reaching. And I just want to take a personal moment to thank you, Dan, again. And uh, we joke and we, you know, I'm a Democrat and Republican, but it comes down to we both care about our community and, uh, and you're a good friend. And I know you're, uh, you're going uh, in a little different direction moving, uh, but staying in the Commonwealth, thank God. Um, but again, I just want to wish you and your family a wonderful, safe holiday you, season. I really do, Dan. And uh, you're going to be missed. Um, and uh, but we can just pick you up on the phone and you'll answer. I know you will. Well, you'll answer my call. Maybe not O'Brien's, but you'll I'm answer not, my I'm call. I'm not answering O'Brien's as soon as I walk out the door. <laughs> That's that. Dan, right. right, you also, don't answer my call at your peril. Yeah. <laughs> I also want to uh, I want to take a moment to thank uh, Tom O'Brien, who's a, who's a friend and a, a true, uh, truly great public servant. If you look him up, I mean, from his uh, days, as I said, at the State House to uh, his days on behalf of Plymouth County. And he's not going anywhere, thankfully, because he was just reelected. But Tom, you know, on behalf of my family, I wish you and your best a happy and safe holiday. And we got a lot more work to do together. The key word is working together. But um, I'm just going to leave it up to you guys if you want to conclude, if you have any more thoughts before we uh, conclude well, on this uh, on the show. If I, if I may, I just want to say that, you know, uh, the commission has recognized right out of the gate that Brockton was different than all other 26 communities, uh, not only because of the, uh, the, 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 the amount of cases, but the severity of the cases, mm. including the deaths. Um, and that was hard to grasp with some of the other communities. Um, you know, they're all looking for money. Uh, and it, 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 it's like a microcosm of what's going on in Washington. Everyone wants a little piece of the pie. And the commission has made sure that the money went to where the need was greatest and uh, we're, we're happy to report that Brockton uh, would have gotten probably around 8.1 million, had been eligible for 8.1 million if we didn't take the money. Uh, that meant no laptop computers, that meant uh, other things that weren't done. And we, 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 we were able to, to, to pull this off and, and you're, you're the greatest beneficiary. And I do it again, uh, over and over and over again, uh, because, all it does is help the residents of Plymouth County. And as you said, we're one team and we'll continue to be a team. And I, I know the team coming in behind us is going to do just as good a job. But I Absolutely. wanted to thank you for all the hard work you've done. There were a lot of back and forths between all three of us 
uh, as Kia's got rolling, uh, that sometimes were pleasant, sometimes weren't pleasant, yep. but always all three of us were trying to do what was in the best interest of, of, of our residents. And I think that in the end, uh, we all uh, came together as one and uh, Brockton's going to do well. Absolutely. And if I if if I could, Mr. Mayor, I'll just uh, follow up a little bit. Sure. We also can't forget that Commissioner Wright was uh, born and raised in Brockton as well. Absolutely, so, uh, yeah, he's a Brocktonian. Uh, he's uh, you to really he make sure. He's that another one that reminds us at every meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want her to be left out. Um, but just uh, just to follow up, uh, we certainly have enjoyed working with you. Uh, as as Dan had mentioned, uh, we always have treated each other with respect uh, mm -hmm. because I think we've earned it and we understand that we have the goals and objectives of helping our constituents. Uh, so just on behalf of me and my family, you and I have known each other a long time, Mr. Mayor. Uh, you hearken back to uh, my days up on Beacon Hill uh, and uh, the time spent up there and some of the things we were able to do. Uh, so personally, I want to wish you and your entire lovely family uh, a very uh, happy holiday. And on behalf of the county, uh, to you and the entire city, uh, we hope that everyone stays safe and healthy and can have the uh, best uh, Christmas and holiday possible. So uh, from Plymouth County to the great city of Brockton, uh, please take care, stay, he stay healthy and stay safe. Thank you so much, Tom and Dan. And again, um, this is Mayor Robert Sullivan. You've been watching the 12th episode of Our Brockton. And again, it was really an honor and privilege to have two fine gentlemen, two fine public servants and friends. Um, Thomas J. O'Brien, the treasurer of Plymouth County and Dan Pallara, chairman of Plymouth County Commissioners. Uh, I want to wish each and every one of the viewers a happy and safe, the keyword is safe holiday season. And we'll be back for the next episode, the 13th episode of Our Brockton. Be well and stay safe. Thank you, everybody. Mm -hmm.